My next guest needs no introduction. He's a singer, songwriter, accomplished musician, author, and philanthropist. Through his 50-plus year career, he's been in movies, television, and he even has his own Geico commercial. He's a Grammy, Dove, ACM, and CMA award winner, a member of the Grand Ole Opry and Country Music Hall of Fame. Welcome to Hayes' Hard Drive, American Icon, Mr. Charlie Daniels. Welcome, Charlie. Well, thank you. I didn't realize I'd done all that. Thank you for. <laughs> well, you, you know, you know what? When you when you have a fifty plus year career, some of that stuff you forget. Oh, it's all been such an honor. I am. Uh, God has blessed me with so many desires in my heart. I, I wanted to be a a part of the music in Nashville and went there back in nineteen sixty seven, and been there ever since. And managed to stay around and get involved. And I have never regretted that move. I love Nashville. I, I love being a part of the music industry there, and it's, uh, it's 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 been a wonderful life. It is a wonderful life. I'm still out here doing it. Well, you know, you're talking about the blessings that God has given you. In November, your book, Let's All Make the Day Count, hit the shelves, uh-huh. and it's been an inspiration to me to, to read daily, and I've enjoyed it. And I was just curious, what inspired you to write this book? Well, I've been writing. I do uh, daily things on my uh, social media. I put down a little uh, thing about let's all make the day count that I feel are divinely inspired a lot of times, uh, little sayings that I come up with. I put a Bible verse, and I put a you know, like a prayer in every day, just certain things that I do every day of the year. And I had written a book. It was a biography that I had written. It, it was called Never Look at the Empty Seats, and the publisher that I did it for wanted a asked me if I would like to write what they called a gift book, and I didn't know much about what it was at the time, but uh, it was like a, a book. Well, a book like what I actually ended up writing. It's a kind of a like a sort of a daily or periodical instrument, uh, kind of a inspirational sort of thing. So uh, I got into it and. And uh, and did this when this is uh, and it's been out now for oh gosh several months I guess probably, but it was a pretty introspective sort of thing to write. I I tried to be, you know, I shared some of my things that I some of the times that I've got my fingers burned and some things at times that I did things right and and uh, you know how it turned out for me and and the lessons that I've learned and. You know, lessons that uh, I've learned the hard way, lessons I've learned in not too hard a way and everything in between. But it's just kind of it was a it was a nice sort of a thing. It was was a a it was a fun thing to do. It certainly was. But it was it was also kind of a a introspective sort of thing to sit down and and because I wanted people to know exactly, you know, exactly what I was talking about, because I was dealing part of the time with some very deep feelings of mine. Well. In 2018, as you said, that that book came out in November. Just before that, in October, you also joined with longtime friend and producer James Stroud to form the group Bo Weevils, and you guys recorded the album Songs in the Key of E. And just as a a background for people who aren't familiar with James and and you, he produced the the 89 platinum album Simple Man as well as a a couple of other albums in the late 80s and early 90s. What was it like to be able to get back together and work with James again? Well, that that had been a long sought after goal of mine and his. We wanted to work together. Of course, we worked together as, as producer artists. I wanted to do something with him playing drums. He is one of the most soulful drummers that I have ever been around. And I kept saying, we got to do something, but we never had the music to do it with until I started writing these, these songs. I just started writing a bunch of songs in the same vein. And I got together with James. I said, you think we can do something with this and say, yeah, let's, let's do it. So we did. And we got together with Charlie Hayward, who plays bass with me and, and a young man named Billy Crane, who in my estimation is probably one of the best slide players in the country and it's just a one-off thing you know it's a thing that we did uh, because we wanted to and it, it it was such a fun album to do we had a we had a great time doing it you mentioned about writing the the music for the album you wrote or you co-wrote all 10 tracks on this compilation were some of the songs did you already have them in your pocket or were was this something that you wrote just specifically for this compilation in this album well, actually, most of the songs I wrote is for the album. Now, some of them, 
I needed a couple of other songs that were in the same vein, and I could have waited around and finished writing everything new, but there were, I need a couple other songs. And I got looking back through the old catalog and found these tunes that, uh, that I did years ago and they, they fit the style good. So we threw, we threw two of them in and every, everything else is brand new stuff. I just wrote. Well, I know that as I'm listening back to the album, especially with a song like Mudcat and Juanita, I'm reminded of how great of a storyteller that you are. Um, well, Mudcat started the whole thing. In fact, the riff that, that starts Mudcat, the uh, the guitar riff, started the whole project because that's the first thing that I started writing. And I, I thought, I thought, and thought, and thought, well, what am I going to do with this song? Because I had a, I just had some some musical ideas, and one day it came to me about the old Robert Johnson story, which I'm sure we all know. And uh, I stand and wrote that one, and then I started having other ideas come to me in the same vein, and that's basically how this whole thing started with that little guitar riff that starts off Mudcat. So that was the that was the whole deal right there. And it is it's it's a it's a swampy album, if that makes sense to everybody. It it's it's a little bit different. It's not exactly what you've always heard from the Charlie Daniels band. Right. And it is is some blues in there. And you know, then there's some some Charlie Charlie Daniels band stuff in there as well. But um, when when I'm listening to a, a song like Mudcat, it still it gives me some of those chills that I hear in a song like "The Legend of the Woolly Swamp." Well, it's in the same vein. I mean, it's still kind of a ghosty sort of story. It takes place in a swamp, so I can see where the analogy would come from. But uh, you know, it was I, I, it was odd because I, as I wrote these songs, the key that I kept doing them in was all E. I've never done an album with all the songs in the same key. So I thought, well, you know, songs in the key of E, why not? <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna That's tell you the name came from. <laughs> it it is I've I've listened to the album at least five times front to back. And it is an album that I believe that people are going to enjoy to be able to sit down and listen to the whole entire album without skipping a track because they are all good. So I, I encourage everybody go out and, and buy Bo Weevil's Songs in the Key of E. And I do want to mention, I want you to tell everybody, Charlie, what is a Bo Weevil? Well, a Bo Weevil, actually, I, we misspelled it for for legal reasons because we got checking on the band name and we come to find out there was it's a foreign band i think my stray or somewhere that actually called themselves the bow weevils with the spelling right uh so we use instead of a, it's supposed to be a b-o-w-e-e-b-i-l but we made it uh, we made it b-e-a-u because of the the legal situation i don't know that if, if there is such a thing as a Bo Weevil, the way we've got it spelled. Well, what, what, probably, it's no such thing, you know. What, what I had heard, and I'm not sure if I'm correct, but I had heard that a Bo Weevil, and maybe it's a different name, that it is actually a, a bug that um, would feast upon cotton and just absolutely destroy crops. Uh, in, oh, yeah. In, 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 oh, so, that's, that's exactly what so, a Bo Weevil is. Yeah, and the O. Yep. Uh, it came from it came from uh, I think it came from Texas down in the Mississippi and like to ruin some farmers down there. Yeah, but uh, the way it, you know we had to spell it differently because of the legal situation. We don't get sued from somebody for saying you stole our band names. So <laughs> we, we spelled it we spelled it with a B E A U instead of a B O. Now you guys are going to be coming back home to the land of the pines, May the 30th, when you join Travis Tritt and Carrie at Coca Booth Amphitheater. Yes, when, you, when, you come back, when you come back to North Carolina, is it nostalgic for you, Charlie? Oh, yeah, because I still got people that, uh, in fact, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday that's probably going to come see me and Carrie that I went to school with. Uh, I've got people I've stayed in touch with over the years, friendships that have been uh, in effect for over 60 years. And I still have, I still have some classmates that, uh, once in a while we'll make it to a show, you know, if I get in their area, but, uh, it, it's, it definitely is. It is a nostalgic time and it's, uh, it, you know, I still got a lot of tar on my heels, <laughs> love Carolina. And I just, uh, it, 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 I couldn't say it's not special because it is, it is special. Come on. 
Now, as people are coming to your show, are, are we going to be hearing some of the, the songs in the key of V from Bo Weevils? Is that some of the stuff you're going to be throwing into your set as you're going back well, out on tour? We have got, we have added a couple of the tunes, but actually sometimes, depending on the set we play, uh, it depends on who we're playing. I think we're playing there with Alabama, so I don't know if we'll have time to put it in or not because if what you know when it comes to it, it's never a problem with us what to play it's always what not to play because you have time limitations you're going to leave out long haired country boy you're going to leave out in america you're going to leave out woolly swamp to add a new song so a lot of times we have more time so we're able to do woolly swamp and all that, uh, the other songs and still do you know a couple of the new tunes but now whether we'll have time to put new tunes in and uh, carry it out. I really don't know. I don't think probably not. We're probably just going to stick with the standards there that day, I imagine. Well, you know, that's a good problem to have. When you have so many songs oh, yeah. that people want to hear, you know, you got to give the fans what they want. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. That's what, that's, that's what we're there for. They're paying us half, and we're there to entertain them. So we always try to put this, you know, songs together that, that people want to hear. Yeah, I can't go somewhere and I play Devil Went Down to Georgia. People think I lost my mind or something. <laughs> and, of course, you got, you know, we're blessed enough to have a few others that uh, people seem to want to hear. The Long Haired Country Boy has been in our set forever. Uh, so has... Uh, you know, in America and Legend of Woolly Swamp and the, the things that that I know that people expect us to play. So we always try to get those in. Anything else, anything extra we get done just has to kind of take back seat to the ones that we know people want to hear. Well, I know as a, a little boy listening to the radio, I used to be able to blurt out every word and say, sitting on a bar stool, acting like a darn fool. That's what I'm doing today. That was my well, anthem when I was a little boy. That one. We're doing that one in the, in the set this year. We've... Uh, we're opening with it back. That'd be the first song we'll play. Well, Charlie, it's it's been an absolute honor and a pleasure being able to talk with you, and uh, I appreciate you taking the, the time out to uh, to do this for us. My pleasure totally, my friend. You take care. And uh, you can find Charlie on Facebook and Instagram at the Charlie Daniels Band and some really awesome stuff on Instagram uh, at Charlie Daniels. You can purchase his book, Let's Make the Day Count, and Bo Weevil's song in E, in the key of E, by going to charliedaniels.com. And uh, this is from the new collaboration, Bo Weevil's Songs in the Key of V. It is Mudcat, and this is Delane Hayes, and you're listening to Hayes' Hard Drive on BigChillRadio.com. Some come floating up by the swamp And in my knee 
started knocking and my hat fell off. And then fire started popping up by the ground. Some in the trees going round and round. Felt an ice cold hand swipe across my face. Some grabbed a hold of my guitar case. Some terrible started screaming way back in the woods. I took off a run just fast as I could. There's big things bumping, and little things jumping. I like coming round the bend. I, I cried, Lord Jesus, get me out of here. And I ain't ever coming back again. And it gets this far away look. And that's where the story would always end. The only other thing you'd ever say about it was you never did see Robert Johnson again. Well, the old man died a few years ago, and the note he wrote was the last thing he ever did. He said, My heart belongs to Jesus. Give my guitar to the kid And I sit out on the front porch Of my cabin in the pines With a beat of Stella guitar And a half a gallon of wine I play When I'm hitting the licks And there's a full moon Shining down across the woods And the breeze smells like swamp water I can almost hear that old man say Some come from up by the swamp And then my knees started knocking And my hat fell off And then fire started popping up By the ground Some in the trees going around and round Better Hand swipe across my face Somebody grab my guitar case Some terrible started screaming way back in the woods I took off a running just fast as I could There's big things bumping, little things jumping I like coming round the bed I cried, Lord Jesus, get me out of here I ain't ever coming back again